Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today we are going to talk all about glow in the dark paints. Now I've got three completely different stones here that we're gonna be working with. Um, we are gonna do some white on these stones as well, and then we're gonna work with our glow in the dark colors. So this is not really a rock painting tutorial as far as what I'm gonna put on the rocks isn't beautiful. I will link at the end of this video to how I jazz up the actual rocks a little bit. Um, we're gonna do dots and we're gonna do lines and we're just gonna kind of see how the paints show up um, on these different colored stones with a white undercoat on them and also with you know one coat of the glow in the dark paint or two so i'm going to start by just adding white stripes on each of my rocks i'm going to actually do circles on the darker one just so that we can layer our glow in the dark paint on top of this white paint so you can see the difference between it going directly onto the stone and it being on top of a white base coat so I've got seven colors and then there's a white that came with it as well um, that we're just gonna play around with. So starting with my pink here, it says to mix the paints well. So I'm just gonna use the back end of my paintbrush to really stir it up so that it is uh, nice and well mixed. I got them in the mail, so they seemed pretty mixed up when I first got them. Once you've got it, well blended. They are a little bit thinner um, than some of your standard acrylic paints. So right off the bat, I'm pretty sure it's going to need two coats. Uh, but we're, we're just going to go ahead and show you with the one coat and then we'll go back and do our second coat after that. So we're going to just go one rock at a time here, one color at a time, and we're going to add our pink paint and we're gonna go across the stripes so that we can see if it's a big difference between the white base coat and the plain rock. So we're gonna do stripes on here. And like I said, this isn't about the design of the stone. This is more just so that we can see the paints on the stone. So we're gonna just do a couple stripes on each rock do different areas. I'm going to do dots on the rock with the circles or circles and dots. Um, and then we're going to use our dotting tool as well on top of the stone just so that we can get a good idea. So I'm just finishing up adding some dots here on the darker stone. And then we're really just going to bounce around with all the different colors just so that I can get a layer of each of the colors onto these rocks so that we can see the difference of all of them. So just make sure you put your lids on your paints in between. And here we go. So now we've got all the colors on our stones. Um, like I said, there's seven different colors in this pack. There's lots of different packs available. I just ordered one on Amazon that had good reviews. Um, so I'm curious with this white rock, cause it's a very white rock, if the lines underneath are really gonna make a big difference. Um, and then we have the lighter one here on the side, if that's gonna make a big difference. And then of course our dark rock here. So we did, we did do our, a lot of our spots and dots on here. Um, we can come back in and add more to these designs later. Um, I actually will link at the end to a couple designs that we did on these stones to make them a little bit more fun. So we're gonna get our lights turned off and we will see how these look in the dark. And these all just have just one layer of the glow in the dark paint on them right now. So as you can see, um, you can see them on the camera here, not as bright as sometimes in person you can see them. I did take photos with them and you could see a little bit better. Uh, I tried to bring them in closer to see if I could focus. In the dark, it was really hard. I could barely even see them on my camera at all. Um, but as you can see, you can only pick up kind of part of the lines here. Again, this was just a single layer of the glow in the dark paint. So just right off the bat, um, I knew we were gonna have to do a second coat. Now, um, especially on the rock there on the left, you can really see where that dot is kind of cut in half. 
that's because you, that's where the white circle was underneath that dot. So um, on these dark stones, for sure, you 100% need to have a white base coat. So I am gonna go through and do a second coat of the glow in the dark paint on all of these stones. And then we'll see where we are sitting when that is all said and done. All right, so we've got a second coat across all of the paints on here, or most of them at least. So we're gonna see the difference now that we have our second coat. And look at that, big difference, right? Um, and this is just on the film. So I'm gonna show here in a minute, I take a picture um, on my phone and you can see all of the colors. And I would say um, some of the colors definitely show up better than the others. Um, like on this rock in example, you can still see the difference. See that white circle underneath. You can still tell it is showing up on the rock when there isn't white underneath, but I would say definitely on a darker stone, you need that white undercoat for them to really pop. Um, so I'm sharing it here while it's on film, but again, here in a moment, I am going to show you how I was able to take a picture. You can definitely see the difference in the colors. Um, better on the picture and even the areas that show up pretty dark here um, It's almost like you kind of have to wait for your eyes to adjust so the initial video here um, On my camera. It just wasn't picking up the colors. So there you go This is the photo that I was able to take now. These are extremely bright uh, I would say you're kind of in between these two places as far as what you're actually seeing. Um, there wasn't really a way for me to take a shorter time exposure, but you can see the difference in colors um, for the photo. So again, here's on film. And then, um, so somewhere between the two of these is what you actually can see. But um, as you can tell from that center stone, the white underneath, you cannot see it at all. You can still see the white underneath in certain areas on the one on the left. The one on the right, um, you can't really see the stripes underneath that much. So I would say on the lighter stones, it's not necessarily a must do to put a base coat underneath uh, the glow in the dark paint um, because you can see it all just normal. I would say on the darker rocks, you definitely want to have that undercoat of paint. Now, like I said before, I'm not in love, in love with the designs of these rocks particularly. So I am gonna link here at the end. I jazzed up the two here to the left so far. If I do the third one, I will come and link to that as well. But this one in the center, I. I had a really fun time creating kind of a Zentangle design that I'll link at the end here too. And the one on the left with the polka dots, we actually ended up doing some fun flower designs um, that give a, a high contrast look to them when they are glowing in the dark. And since they're kind of neon colors when the lights are on, they really do make for some bright and fun rocks. So I hope this answered some of your questions as far as using glow in the dark paints on rocks. I will continue to use these and um, if I come up with any more unique tips and ideas for them, I will definitely um, let you guys know. But I would just say base coat, white, if you don't have a white stone, at least two coats of the glow in the dark paint is necessary. And then I would also say, make sure that you charge them up in the light before um, you try to see them in the dark. Like let, make sure they get exposed to light. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure that you're subscribed. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.